Alonzo is obviously going the opposite way with his power lately. Uh, what are you seeing the differences in his swing and the types of pitches that he's hitting and what he's doing with them than we saw for a lot of the regular season? Yeah, I think it's uh, the timing. That's what he starts. When he's on time, he allows him to make some uh, better swing decisions. Um, we saw it yesterday, not only on that homer, but the 3-2 walk you know, uh, against Nola. That was a huge at-bat. So I, that tells you that when he's on time, he allows him to, you know, like I said, make better swing decisions. And he's going to allow him to get the barrel on the ball. And when he does that, we know the powers. You know, he's one of the best power hitters in the game. So, uh, and it doesn't matter whether they pitch him. So, because he's got that ability. Yesterday he took that ball uh, and went the other way. And like I said, out of the... Out of the bat, that ball was gone. So uh, he's a dangerous hitter, uh, but I think he starts with uh, with his timing. Okay, far right over here, Bill. What has impressed you the most about Tyrone Taylor? I know she's been playing uh, often, and could you talk about that? Um, the steadiness. This guy is uh, he's a professional. He's a ball player. It doesn't matter if he's not in the lineup for 10 days or if he's playing every day, which is the case as of late. Uh, but... Uh, elite defender, not, not only in center, but anywhere you put him, right, left, um, and then elite base runner. Um, and he's uh, the type of player that makes winning plays and help you win a baseball game. We saw it yesterday, uh, that ball off the wall and throws a strike to second base uh, to, to cut Bond there. Um, so, yeah, I think he's, he's a professional. Um, he's always ready. He knows his role. Um, his personality is off the chart. Like he's one of those guys that um, <clears throat> keeps those guys loose there in, uh, in there too. And uh, he's a good, good, good player. You're gonna go to the middle, Jennifer. Yes, Carlos. This would be the first time the Mets are able to clinch a playoff series since at City Field since they opened in 2009. What it, would it mean to you to be the manager to get them there? I mean. Um, it means a lot to all of us that we have this opportunity, you know, but we're facing a really good team. You know, we got to go out there and we got to execute and we got to play well. Uh, hopefully that's the case. Uh, for me as a manager, I, you know, I got to give credit to the players. I got to give credit to the coaches, to the training staff, everyone in here. Um, like I said, it's not about me. Uh, I got really good people here. Uh, and I think this is a product of uh, organization doing the things the right way and uh, having quality people here in this building. Um, so, um, yeah, credit to all of them. Okay, down here in the front, Pete. Hi, Carlos. Uh, yesterday, Francisco Lindor said that he's not even really thinking about his back. What have you seen from him, and how much of a sigh of a relief have you had that he's held up playing every day? Yeah, uh, I feel the same. Like, um, I don't have any concerns or anything like that. I feel like... Yeah, he's still going to feel it at times, but that's not going to prevent him from being the type of player he is. Uh, uh, I will continue to check with him, uh, but we we feel really good. Uh, the training staff feels really good about uh, you know where he's at physically, and obviously Francisco, uh, he's done a you know unbelievable job uh, to get to this point. It wasn't easy for him uh, at the beginning when he was feeling it big time, uh, but credit to him, credit to the training staff, and. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a good feeling when you know you have a healthy Francisco Lindor. That one right here, say with Ron. How much did the arrival of Vientos and Iglesias contribute or alter or slightly modify the personality of the team? Yeah, um, huge impact on our team. Um, Vientos, after what he went through early in the year, came back, went back down, and then finally just ran away with the position and the impact. You know, this is a guy that not only hit for average, hit for power, his ability to make adjustments, the way he's playing defense uh, at third base. And then Iglesias, you know, ball player. Um, you know, the numbers speak for itself, uh, but what he brings not only on the field but off the field uh, keeps it loose, uh, keeps um, keeps pushing guys. Um, and he's, the way he sees the game is, is unbelievable, you know, and... Just the, the communication between those guys and, like like you said, those two since they joined this team, like they've been they've been huge for us. What did they affect in the clubhouse? How did the clubhouse change at all? When yeah, I think uh, they both bring different perspective. Iglesias is a guy that's been in, the, in this game for a long time and through ups and downs, uh, pretty pretty good career. But he's he was out of baseball, and finally gets another opportunity and 
he decides to go to AAA. You got to give him credit. Not too many people. I mean, he didn't have to do that after 10 years in the big leagues, and we're asking him to go to the minors. He did it, and uh, then I, th I think it was a different way for him to put everything in perspective, like I said, and don't, don't take anything for granted. Uh, every day at the big league level is a special day. Every time you get an opportunity to put a big league uniform on is a, is a privilege, and I think he's – He's, he's brought that to the table here, like don't take anything for granted. And then Vientos is, you know, a kid that ha he had to work to, to, to get this opportunity. He earned it, and uh, I'm just proud of both, both guys.